as promised, I'm going to show you how to reverse the rotation of a gear pump. Um, I have this pump right here. It's for my skitter. Um, and it's brand new. I bought this one at a discount spot. Um, it's usually pretty expensive. I bought this for I don't know, 100, 120 bucks, something like that. It's really not a lot but it's a, to roll on. It's an older pump, but the problem we've got here is it's rotating the wrong direction. So we're going to take it apart and switch some guts around and make it spin the correct direction. When you look, there's a big port. That's the uh, where the oil goes in, the suction side. And the smaller port is going to be your pressure side. Now you might think, eh, just switch the fittings, what can be different? There's actually some plates in here that won't seal right if they're backwards. So the way a gear pump works is you have a housing. And inside your housing, you have your gears. I know, I'm great at art, but they're good gears. One gear there, one gear here. Your oil comes in and goes out. Now these gears are set so that they, uh, they mesh together. My drawing's not very good, but they seal well enough between the gears. So for the oil to go through, it has to go around the outside. When it goes around the outside, the gear seals against the housing and the gears seal in the middle. So it's sucking in and pushing out. The oil comes in, fills the little gap between the uh, gear and the housing, travels around in that gear to the other side. When it gets over here, this other gear comes into this gear and they squish the oil out so the oil can't go back up the middle. So to do that, one of these shafts, and this one will say this one's the driven shaft, and this one has the shaft come out the end. So there's actually two gears in here. You can see the other gear is centered about here. So think of gear, gear. I'll show you that in just a sec. If you spin these backwards, you're not gonna, it just won't work. You're gonna be sucking on this side and pushing nothing out there. You're gonna run it dry, you're gonna blow it up. And it's not gonna be putting pressure where you need it. So, in order to reverse this, we gotta take it all apart. Now there's different brands, different styles, there's commercials, there's a whole bunch of different pumps, but they're all, they all work the same way. So you got a bunch of bolts. Now this is a brand new pump. And one thing I'll show you is I drew an arrow on here. I held this in place just to really check everything and that's the way the engine spins through the transmission to this pump on the skitter. So, if it's spinning this direction, that means the oil's got to suck from this side, so this is backwards. So, what we're going to do is unbolt it and clean, clean, clean for hydraulics. I've got fresh cardboard here. I'm trying to keep everything clean. And if you're just taking one apart to inspect, you'll usually mark everything, like one dot, one dot, two dots, two dots. I use a prick punch. That's what I usually do. Um, this one we're going to change it around. So, when you open it up, here's the head. You can see it's got these wear plates on them. That's a brand new one. You'll note how it fits. See the suction side? It's open. And... The way that that's open, the gears are coming around, they're sucking, and then see it pushes out that hole there. So, that part is going to be just fine. We rotate it. Here's our housing. Looks like it's been running a test bench. It's got, actually has a fair amount of wear. That's just about shot. That's not good when you look in here. See if I can see it in the camera. It's worn. When it reaches halfway, it's not going to pump oil. I might have to call them up. This pump's been run dry. That's not good. This side's worn almost halfway. 
A little bit can be breaking, but I can feel that. That's just not good. You buy a new pump, it shouldn't be worn out. See, this gear doesn't go out the side, it just stays in the housing. This one has the shaft on it. So, you're going to switch. Get this up. Yeah, these brass plates are actually kind of worn too. I don't know what they were doing, but this is not a fresh pump. So, perhaps this one isn't reversible. Most of them, most of the other brands, these passages are actually in the plate and you can just swap it right around. This one appears to actually be in the housing, might just be hers. It's really kind of too bad because I want to put this thing in this afternoon. So see the shaft spins the two gears. There's gaps around the outside, but not between the gears. So the oil's coming in, catches in the gear, goes around. It's squished out from the gears, out through that hole, out the outlet port. Just like that. These plates seal everything up. Stick them together. Just slides in. bolts in and it's back together. So even though we didn't quite get this one reversed because the housing, most brands you can just flip the plates and that stuff in the end that I showed you that can't flip around the passages, that stuff uh, in a lot of brands you just flip the whole plate and that stuff moves with it and it's not a big deal. But definitely not in this one. You know while we're at it, I was thinking about it, I might as well show you, since that pump didn't work, what we're working on. Here's the uh, original pump. I'm going to take these fittings off just to make some space. This one's a Cessna. Yeah, just like the airplanes, they made aluminum pumps for a while. So this is an aluminum housing. Problem here is uh, splines are just about eating off the shaft. Still waiting for one of these couplers to come in. See, the coupler's pretty hosed. It's supposed to have Good splines, there's almost nothing inside, nothing outside. Junk. So this pump, same thing, gear pump. I already got the bolts out of it. It's got uh, in and out. There's another port for in as opposed to the side, so depending on how you're plumbing it, I guess you could put something there. Out, I mean, it's probably just to put a pressure gauge on there, a little eighth inch plug. So if you take this part. Tappa tappa. There comes the cover. Now you can see that this cover doesn't have to be symmetrical because this one has the in and the out. But other than that, it's fairly similar. The port sizes are the main difference on this one. This way you can see the bearings are kind of eroded. That's uh that's probably cavitation. You see how it's blown the metal out? When you cavitate, you get air that's in your oil gets compressed and it compresses so much because the oil is almost uncompressible the air is very compressible it compresses to the point where it's pushed into the pores of the metal and when the pressure is released it actually can blow pieces of metal out which is kind of what's happened here so that's the cap there here's our plate the other one they were brass these have a brass face on a steel plate and you see there's a lot of cavitation here. It's got metal blown out on the pressure side. This cap sits like that. Now there's no ring missing here. I had this part already. I knew it was junk. Seals around here. Just the seal and there's an O-ring on the outside. Then you have your gears. This is a gear set just like the others. They very rarely actually look like they're worn, but you don't in practice reuse gears. I guess you could, but it's just a bad idea. Um, on these, you can see the splines are chewed up. Here's your gear set, and in this one, 
wiggle it off. There's dowel pins. Just make it kind of tight. Come on, there we go. It's this housing. You can see uh, the wear in it looks actually just like the wear in our brand new pump, but this one's known to be shot. It probably still pump a little bit, but you see there's cavitation there. And the wear has reached the halfway mark, which means it won't seal. At halfway, the gears have fully closed up and they're pushing past. If it wears past half, you really don't get enough seal to pump oil. This one actually has a rotation arrow on it. So see, this direction it's rotating this way. Now it's rotating that way. So this one's even marked. The switch rotation, you literally just change this housing and the end cap. On this pump and you're good to go. Here's the uh, plate from the other end. And you see they have some little holes and passages here that take some of the pressure oil from halfway and shoot it into the gear to lubricate the bearings. This plate's actually cracked right here. That's pretty bad. But other than that, this is a symmetrical plate. This just can go down. On these Cessnas, well, the seal's in here. This is a seal plate. Yeah, it's busted there, some pieces missing. The seals are gone. And these have a spring and a check balls. And they're symmetrical. You can switch this pump either way. This is what I was hoping to find in the other one. So on these pumps, this section right here with this plate it's all the same. I don't think those, yeah, they're the same both ways. And your gears, one gear, two gears. This stuff doesn't care if it spins this way or this way. All you gotta change on these is you look at your housing. Say, look, this one even has an arrow. Do I want it to spin that way? Or do I want to spin this way? You pick your direction, stick this on here, stick your top seals. So right now I have it set to go this way, which means this is the pressure side. So I'm going to put the pressure side like that. And then you're going to look at your cap and say it's going that way, okay. If it's going this way, it goes from inlet to outlet. So Inlet to outlet, stick that on there, bolt it together, and that pump's good. You want it the other way? All you got to do is take this housing and turn it around. Dowel pins make it tricky, but it's not that hard. Flip that. That's going that way, so high pressure that way. And now we take this, spin that, and there we are. Now we reverse the flow on this pump. So, on a pump that's not machined, like that Tirola, to be only one direction, it's really quite easy to flip the rotation, which is what I'd wanted to do. Didn't work out, but at least I had something I could show you how to do it. So, if you like my videos, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, what you want to see. And uh, we'll do a bunch more fun stuff. We got uh, some dump truck stuff, we got some sawmill, we got a bunch of skitter videos, some bulldozer stuff. There's a bunch of stuff coming up, so let me know what you want to see, and I'm going to try to keep posting as much as I can. Have a good one, enjoy, and get outside. It's where it's nice.